You need to shut up. Look, Miss Jones is not the only one of your former associates that will need to question. Unless you tell us who helped you. No one helped me. Well, not voluntarily, anyway. This is saying you forced someone to cooperate with you. I told you to hush up. I threatened Lulu Spencer. Excuse me, Lulu Falconeri. And you're giving me a place to stay. I have gone my entire life not knowing that you exist. And then suddenly you're everywhere. Oh, I'm so sorry my mother's death inconvenienced you. I tried to reach out, okay? I welcomed you. That is a lie and you know it. You never welcomed me. You pushed me away every chance you got. And you paid me back by seducing my husband. Dante and I slept together because you lied. Oh. Just like you demanded a separation. You, you can keep trying to make this my fault. What? You mean the mess that is your marriage? No, that was a three-way train wreck. You, me, Dante. But what happened last night, when I was kidnapped, tied up, and almost burned to death? That was all your fault, Lulu. You stole my husband! You used Johnny Zakara as a tool! No, you destroyed my family! You made me a target for a wanted fugitive! Well, I went back into that cabin and I dragged you out of it! Yeah, probably because you knew you were gonna get caught and you didn't want to face a murderer! No, I never wanted you dead, okay? I just wanted you to go back to Pennsylvania! <laughs> Just anywhere, go anywhere away from me and my husband. <laughs> wow. You are so stupid. You had everything you ever wanted in the palm of your hands. And you still do. What are you talking about? You don't even see it. You did all this to yourself. You self-centered, overly dramatic Stupid ass bitch! Oh, 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 you whole fucking slut! You lied to me! You did how you do fighting your own battles, princess! Screw you! To kill you! What the hell's going on here? Tried to kill me. Valerie assaulted me. I was defending myself. I'm not talking about this. We were fighting. It was mutual. I'm talking about last night. Patty, do you have any idea what Lou has done? Okay, Valerie doesn't know what she's talking about. She keeps making all these accusations, but she can't prove a damn thing. Oh, you give yourself way too much credit, Lulu. You probably left a trail of evidence. Okay, I can explain. I just have to tell you Don't what talk. happened. But I just need... I just no, 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 no. Do not talk. Do not say another word. You will get a chance to make a statement, okay? Much later. For now, we're here from Valerie. Okay, but just let me Listen, tell you. shut up! Oh. Tell me what happened. I was befriended by a man who turned out to be the fugitive, Johnny Zakara. When did you meet him? He helped me when my car broke down. And then I bumped into him at the park right before Christmas. In hindsight, I can see he was setting me up. He asked me for a ride last night. I have a police scanner in my car, and when the bolo came in, I recognized his description. When he realized I was on to him, he took me all the way to that cabin, tied me up, made a phone call to an unidentified person, and then took off with my car. I knocked over a candle, trying to break free, and then the fire started spreading. I thought I was going to die. Lulu came in, took me out, and then she lost her keys in her phone, so we spent the night in her car. Excuse me, detective. Uh, you need to call this in? We got possible exposure and smoke inhalation. Two passengers. Get a CSU up here to collect evidence. Yes, sir. Valerie already told you what happened. It's a crime scene, Lulu. Got a couple of blankets in the car. We'll be right back. So you admit to threatening Lulu Falconeri to secure cooperation? You don't have to answer that. Any questions, really. I told Lulu if she didn't help me out, people she cared about would be hurt. I'd like to say I didn't mean that. Did you? I would never hurt a little boy or anybody weak or vulnerable. But there are people Lulu cares about who definitely deserve what I could dish out. Are you referring to her husband, Detective Falconeri? I, I don't think you want to admit to threatening a cop. My lawyer's telling me not to answer that. Okay. Let's, let's take it back to Cadet Spencer. Why'd you target her? I didn't at first. I, you know, her car was broken down. I used to be a mechanic, so I helped her. When I saw her again, I recognized an opportunity. For what? 
to have a rookie cop in my pocket. He's worked for me before and thought it would work this time with Valerie. She, she wasn't having it. So I left her someplace safe. Where is Valerie Spencer right now? Like I said, I left her someplace safe. Figure out the rest. You know, if you have any prayer for a plea bargain, you want to help us. What plea bargain? What plea bargain? They didn't hurt anybody. Sure as hell didn't kill any. The hallelujah. There's good news. It's not there. You found Lulu and Valerie. They're fine. It's out of some situation you can check them. I'm going to go there right now. Like I said, Valerie's on her. Now, what's the next step, legally speaking? You're pretty much gonna fry. 